Hello and welcome to Hukalo TV. Today is uh, Saturday, April 28th. And uh, in the uh, hangout today, we have Dave, Eva, Jim, Marlene, Shear, and myself, Mark. And uh, Jim, would you like to announce who's in the room with you today? Yes, we have Angie and Barb and Will and Serena, Sharam and Ray. We have more in my room than we have online. <laughs> All right. And uh, anybody have a request today? Oh, I see there's a bunch in the chat already. Uh, Eva asks for Grindle, and that probably means Grindle. he's going to show up. Uh, Odin or Zeus uh, from Sheer. Uh, Marlene would like to hear from the Antares High Council representative. Ooh. And uh, how about in your room? Any requests in here? God would be nice. God. We have a request for God. Oh, I'll second that one. He's always a good person to talk to or a good being. <laughs> yes. Uh, Anything else? Eva, what okay. kind of animal consciousness are you uh, thinking of? Well, I listen to this um, channeling by Max of Mushroom Consciousness, or I don't know, Max or Jim, I don't know who was, who was doing it. So, I would like some animal, uh, because the, the fact that mushrooms, wild mushrooms have consciousness, really blew my mind. So maybe some, um, I don't know which animal, but uh, maybe a cow? Because a it seems like most of them. I'm not sure if they come through in English or they can, but we'll see. But I am surprised by lots of things, so we'll see. So I think it's interesting that she said cow because I was. Is there anybody from Aldebaran that wants to to come? Aldebaran? Yeah, the fiery eye of Taurus. Oh, the fiery eye of Taurus. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. We can also ask for the Peshat consciousness. There, the, the, those are animals. All right, Peshat. All right, um, I think that's enough requests, more than enough to fill up a two hour webinar. Uh, how about announcements? Uh, let's see, at hukalo.org, we have our fall workshop announcement posted. And Will, do you want to talk about tomorrow's class? Okay, Will. <laughs> yes, uh, tomorrow, 3 p.m., um, Sunday, April 29th, we're putting on a white magic class, and there are still a few spots left, so if that resonates with you, please email me, reikiwithwill at gmail.com. The cost is $111, and we would love to have you. So, namaste. Welcome. Excellent. Okay. Hello. Hi, Jim. How's it going? I doing see well. How are you doing? Angela there. I see. David Who is Waller? David Waller? Hi. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. Cont Go ahead. Um, all right. Um, are we ready to begin then? Blessings. Well, we have a couple more announcements. Oh, the workshop announcement August 16th through 21st. Uh, the price of that will be $400 and it will be in the Dansville area again. So, uh, those of you who have been there, you already know what it's like to be there. It's, it's really, we really had a wonderful time there. So, um, also, um, I can't think of any other announcements at this time. What do you think? But I just wanted to, uh, the, it is set up on the uh, Ucolo. If you go there to register, it is there. All right. Um, you want to go into meditation and see who comes through? You got to do great blessings. Blessings. Oh, first. blessings. Oh, thank you. I'm spacey this morning. Blessings. That's yes. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, Angela wants to go first. Does anybody else have any blessings out there? I clean up. Okay, um, and Will also wants to go. Anybody can anybody? Else? I would. Like, I would like to be heard. Can anybody? Yeah. Can you hear you? Did you want to do a blessing? Hello, this is Mary Magdalene. Can anybody hear me? Yes. Oh, you can hear me. I've never yeah. done this. Oh, how wonderful! Oh. Yes, we can hear you. Wonderful. Did you want to do a blessing? Oh, okay. I, I've I've never been in one of these before. Um, okay. I'd like to connect all of our consciousness to the wonderful unity of harmonic universe one and harmonic universe come two coming together through my ascension portals and this wonderful wonderful ascension event that is happening right now here before us as the original ones have all landed on earth last year and we are beginning our i am finishing my mission so the other creator beings can begin their mission with the original ones and oh i'm so excited and so happy and i'm trembling with joy because it's happening the ascension is happening and and the the worst demonic attack already happened last month through my portals and we won and there are no more demonic attacks going to interfere with my portals connecting us into the oneness of this new timeline of this eternal ascension for Gaia, and I am so happy to be here with the other ones who are here, their creator beings and original ones, and I hope that we can start bringing through some of the original ones and these channeling so we can find out what's really going on in the Ascension, and I, I do have some questions for you later. I hope you will let me speak. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Okay, very good, and we're, thank you. And we're, I appreciate that. And we're going to have uh, people do some prayers and blessings to start. Okay. Oh, Angela's going to go first. Oh, Angela. This Angela. <laughs> There's two Angelas now. Everybody must mute first, though, so we don't have feedback. Thank you. I hear you need, ah, oh, there we go. Very good, thank you. Go ahead. Vinzan du jua ni squa a zin ni wa izep wa wanye ju a wa a ka za ni kwa a zo i squa a safa u wa ni ya kwa i squa a kisa a i u zu a tutu a kamwa a i. Let us all come together and bring thanks to God, for he is the one that is bringing forth all the greatness and miracles. Let us now understand that the world is at a time of great change and that there are many there that have missions to move forward. We thank you for all that you have done and all the work that has already been accomplished. Thank you so much that you are part of this great adventure. Anyone else? Are you coming? Uh, I guess Will is next. Well, it depends if anybody else. Anybody else? I haven't seen anybody in the chat yet. And Barbara's going to do one. A new one. <laughs> okay. Speak up. <laughs> there is a time for everything, and this is a time for prayer. This is a time for us to reach out to one another and give support. This is a time for unconditional love, and this is a time for no judgment. Love one another and bring one another into a great place of power in this new day and age. 
And then Will. Oh, here comes Will. Yes. Ikoorna <laughs> Although the times may seem dire, laughter and joy are also part of this day and age for positivity must win out. Positivity is the word of the day, for we must move forward in this. We, we must become part of this and bring forth the example of love and joy that is necessary for the world today there is so much darkness all around we must break through and give the example of god that is necessary to the people i know that there will be events that will change the way that people look at things let them come so that the changes may come for the positivity to become successful in this realm. Oh, very good. Do we have any more blessings? Any more blessings? Okay. Um, uh, Jim, I noticed in the uh, YouTube chats that uh, Liney asked uh, for a time traveler to add to the request. Interesting. Okay, very good. Let's see who comes. I don't think Elijah's coming today. He did not speak to me about coming today, so I'm not sure. But um, you never know. He just may show up anyway. But at this time, I will do a meditation and see who comes through first. There's been many requests. I'm not sure if everybody knows who's been requested. I know God, Grindel, uh, Zeus, um, Odie. Odin. Uh, who else? Odin, the Nordic uh, god. Which one? Odin. Oh, Odin. Okay. Oh, uh, Altarian. Altarian Council. I w yeah, it was Antares. Antares High Council. Oh, Antarian Council. Is that correct? Yes. I've heard. I've heard of them, and I think that actually they came through once a while back. I'm not sure. Um, okay, and if I forgot anyone, I'm sorry, but they know that we call them, so if they want to come, they are welcome. So thank you very much. Uh, much love to everyone, and thank you all for being here. And uh, just pray and be very positive that the entities that come through will bring forth the greatest message and the most positive light. Thank you. Just a minute. Welcome, Grindel. <coughs> One moment. <clears throat> yeah, they let me come first. They said be fast. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know why you called, but I um, do have a little news. Um, I heard someone say there was no more demonic attacks. That is true. But there still is some negative energy attacks. But they have been stopped by the, the blue avians and by all the different um, people that are praying. By the um, There are many portals that are very powerful that have been activated in greater ways to stop them. So they, this, at this time, 
I don't think they'll be able to get through. So that's really good news. And thank you for, um, thank you all for um, activating those port portals. Mary Magdalene, thank you. And all those that are, that help with uh, sending energy. Because you know that they're there. So any questions? I think Eva requested you. You want to unmute and... Um... Eva, how are you, my dear? Oh, I love you. <laughs> I have a question. Can you give us update what is happening um, in our country? Um, I keep asking about Trump, actually, if you can tell us whatever, because there are a lot of changes done in secrecy. Uh, but what you, you what kind of changes anything. are you talking about? You mean in the government? Yeah, very much so. All right. There are a lot of things going on in the government. Some of them we can't talk about, of course. Uh, there are many uh, changes coming, and some of them are very good. Some of them are very bad, but they all will lead to a positive outcome in the end. So do not worry about that. However, I have to say this. Right now, a lot of the outside alien forces that are trying to communicate with the governments are being a little bit ignored because of the way that the governments are interacting one with another. And so they know that there are aliens out there that want to talk. There are those that want to communicate. And the there are those from great distances even that are very important uh, aliens and very um, prophetic aliens that have come through uh, great distances and for great meanings that are here. But they're sort of being ignored at the moment because this is not yet their time exactly. Those things will come about shortly, but they're not yet. Uh, while the governments are up in arms threatening one another, they cannot get their message through. So I just wanted to let you know that there are those that are here and those that are making inroads to the governments, but they cannot be act. Uh, they cannot get what they need quite yet. They they have identified themselves to different people of your planet but the governments are not working with them quite yet. But they will. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Sheer is next. Sheer. Hey, Grindel, how are you? I am very well, thank you. And yourself? I'm doing well. First of all, Nivi sends his regards. Very well, thank you, Nivi. Yeah. And I want to ask you if North Korea and South Korea peace uh, agreement has something to do with uh, next month meeting with the Griffith and the government, and if how do you think it's going to play out the meeting? Well, I'm hoping that the meeting will come off. They have actually postponed the last two. So there hasn't been a meeting for quite a while. So I'm hoping that all the tensions on the earth are not going to make another postponement. But if that is the case, um, I think that this particular unity of North Korea and South Korea has really nothing to do with the Galactic Council. It has more to do with earth politics and nothing much to do with alien politics at this time. I see. Uh, thank you very much. You are welcome. Yeah. Is there any other questions? I believe Crystal had one. If you want to unmute now, maybe you could turn your volume down because we're getting a lot of feedback from your end. All right. Okay. Is this okay? Yes, that's good. Yeah. Can you, is it okay? The feedback's gone? Yes. We can, okay. We can hear you. Yes. Um, I, um, I wanted to talk about the, um, the negotiations, the first contact, um, negotiations, 
Yeah. Um, William Durante, one of the creator beings, who has been a longtime student of mine, has been approached to be the ambassador for um, communication on the first contact. And um, the original ones that landed last year that I invited to use my ascension portals in the future. Yes, uh, they're here. The, the Chicani. Um, yes, um, all of those are here. Bell and Tesca. And I'm wondering if now is the time when the creator beings and the original ones will start working together on these projects. So William Durante will be connecting with Shell and Tesca to begin negotiations with our governments at the at the higher level, at the, the cosmic level, the beings. Yes. yes. When so, things calm down just a little bit, then these things will happen. But there has to be a couple things that happen before that starts. Many of the creator beings' missions have not yet fully started, and some, like yours, have ended or or is are at the end, near the end. But you are still doing things. But the some of the other ones really haven't started completely. William has been. Uh, working a long time as well, but his mission is not yet done. But he has been very badly attacked recently and because they want to stop him from doing his mission. But we are working to keep him safer and to uh, build him up so that when the time is right, all things can come forward. So he will, he is now um, working on thinking that he needs to be learning light languages. And um, I was also told something that he needs to be come down and become more available to people. But isn't his mission going to be more like mine where we're mostly doing our work in the, the astral and working with the original? Yes, but there will be some communication, but not a lot. But light language will be necessary for first contact. Okay. So he that that is what he is working on now is developing his language to communicate. Correct. And um, my my other question was um, you you mentioned earlier that there will be more demonic attacks, and there will not be necessarily more, oh, but okay. there has been more. But they have been stopped at this point. Okay. So what I was told by by Yeshua and myself, Mary, <laughs> um, that um, God actually chose to allow those attacks. He told me. That of he course. Did. Yeah. And that they were meant to help awaken the creator beings to become more active. But, yes. But you have to understand there's all different kinds of attacks. Uh -huh. Those kinds of attacks were personal. The attacks that you're talking about will be more um, widespread. Well, the, the ones that I'm mostly interested in is the ones attacking my portals directly through my vortexes in my house, because that's what I spend my time full time on protecting my ascension portals, because that is the only way they can disrupt this entire ascension is through my voice. They will never portals. destroy your portals. And, but are they, was the Wisa Draca the last attempt on my portals? Do you know anything more about that? Your portals are safe. They, oh. You have won that attack. They will not be back to them at all. They are going to attack in other places, but the blue avians have have a way of detecting their attacks and to bring them into submission in some ways. Now, there are other kinds of attacks from other beings that are not even here yet. So it's, but do not worry. God has everything under control, I'm sure. Yeah. So my, my portals are safe at this time. Of course, they are never in danger. Okay. Really? Well, they they were in my house for two full weeks, and I, I, they were here. It was a long battle, and and God pulled in all of the 
all of the angelic metatronic and and yes. archangel. I understand. It took but do not worry. It, you it are safe. Not happen again. That that's what I wanted to know. That will no, happen. it won't. Wonderful. That means the, the ascension is totally on its road. The, the ascension portals are completely safe. Nothing can interfere if the ascension portals are safe. Am I correct? correct. Yes. As long as the ascension portals are safe, everything is wonderful. And well, at uh, this point, everything looks good. Okay. Um, I have another question, but I don't want to hog all the time. But I do have another. I have several more questions, as always. <laughs> Can, can I ask another question now, or should uh, I wait? Let you do one more, and then uh, we'll see if anybody else wants to come in. Yeah. Also, if you could uh, look at the side chats. There are a couple messages for you there. I, I really haven't figured out how to. When, when I went over to the other side chats, it's when this distortion started happening. So I don't want to leave this. I, I don't know how to work this whole <laughs> situation. I, I tried that a minute ago, and that's when the static started coming in. Yeah, the uh, static is coming back. So if you can mute whenever you're not speaking, or if you can get a pair of headphones, that really is the best way to cut down on feedback. If you mouse over the upper left corner of the screen, it should turn on the group chat so you can see the messages other people have been asking you questions. Uh, so why don't you ask your question, and then um, we'll see if anybody else has a question, OK? OK. Um, about one year ago, when I was talking to Yeshua about the the final steps after the portals were open, and then um, we needed to have the the original ones talk about the the first contact and make the agreements, and the other missing piece of this puzzle is the skull that is buried in the middle of Saudi Arabia, and the words that Yeshua spoke to me were that it would be Elijah who would speak the word of God to tell them to stop the war. And I, I, w I was hoping to talk to Elijah today about that, if he had gotten such a message. And I wasn't clear from Yeshua. Um, he said in order to get that final skull that was needed to activate the stargates, that they would have to stop that war and they would have to get that crystal skull out of the middle of the desert of Saudi Arabia. And the only way to do it would only listen. That will happen at the right times. Remember, prophecy predicts all these different things from the galactic perspective. So you don't have to worry. Things will happen and fall into place the way they should. They are, all things will happen the way they should happen. And there is room for error, and there's room for correction, and there's room for changes because man's decisions are free will. Remember, not everyone is following God or asks him about everything. They decide things without God's permission, but he does have a hand on the situation. So therefore, things can change a little bit here and there, but all things... Uh, will happen the way they should. I am. I am a firm believer in that. Oh well, I'm just quoting what Yeshua said to me. And yes, we... you have to understand that taking things literally sometimes is it's, it, and also channelers can be can be uh, distracted or moved around. But I think that what he, what he's saying is fine. But but the thing is, um, all, all things will work out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I just have one quick question. You're you're always talking about the galactic level of things, and yeah. I'm talking about the level of things and the cosmic meetings that I'm having with the cosmic creator beings, the original ones, and so we're talking about things at a different level of what's going on and what God is actually saying. And when I'm talking to Yeshua, he is telling me exactly what God is saying. So I, I'm wondering if there's different the meaning between the galactic communication and the cosmic communication. There um, will be differences. They talk differently. They have a different language. They speak in different ways. And sometimes 
they can be misunderstood. So you have to understand there is a thousand different languages in the galaxy and they're being spoken. Even on your own planet, you can misunderstand languages between countries. They can misunderstand each other. So these things are normal. Yes, I, I understand that, but I'm just wondering if you are transmitting a galactic information that is not available to you that is available to me because I am a cosmic creator being. That's what I, was I do not know. That I do not know. Okay, thank you. That's that's what I wanted to know. Yes, I do not know that question. Okay. All right. All right, Grindel, I believe you said uh, that there were a bunch of others waiting in line. Did you have any um, any last thoughts to share? No, I am I am fine. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I think um, it, it sounded like some of uh, the questions uh, coming up might be even more suited for others. So uh, maybe it's time to uh, see who's next. Very well. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Who is it they called the Antirian Count? Greetings, thank you very much. It's Marlene speaking. Um, the uh, I would like if you can expand on uh, you were one of the four primary benevolent races that started working for our planet, and in can you can you situate yourself in our earthly timeline then? And your collaboration now, please. We have been with you many thousands of years, off and on, but in constant surveillance of your planet, we know exactly what your history has contained in a more truthful way than you wish to convey it one to another. So we have been with you a long time information that you have given to one another about your true history may not be so accurate but we have the truth recorded now we are trying to help you with decisions not by making them for you but by suggesting things to others in your governments that might be helpful. We are one of the only species that can speak to the governments occasionally, and but not all the governments. Your United States and your China, we do not speak to. But we have spoken to the leaders of Germany, England, Russia, and a few others. 
They listen carefully, but do not always hear. We are now still involved in your governmental surveillance, but we, as I said, do not make decisions for you. We are not permitted to do that and would not even if we were. But I do not know if you mean by your question if we're taking any actions at this time. For actions are actually not permitted in many ways. But we do what is permitted. And that is counsel, prayer, sending energy, sending healing, and unconditional love for your situation, although many other species have let you go. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you, it does. Um, your technology has been used and is still being used in certain ways. Um, at this point by certain governments, the ones that you're, you are still in contact with. Um, how uh, does, how do they, your technology, how does it affect us right now in helping uh, to alleviate, uh, we were talking earlier about, about um, certain Our attacks. Our technology is used to deflect other technologies away from your planet. That is our greatest use for our own technology. The other use for our technology is to listen and to survey what is happening on the planet. This is also used for some of our communications, mostly through higher technology areas such as space programs or, or political groups that have higher technology involved with their reign or their rule. You may be surprised to know that most countries now are in touch with those outside of your world, even though they may not say that they are, they do have contact with many different species. They may not be working with them, but they do listen and hear what they have to say. Many times they feel threatened because warnings come from some of these species. That has actually stopped. No more warnings are allowed to be given to the earth in the sense that it frightens them and causes them to act in an unstable, unstable way. And so therefore, if there are any warnings, they must be said in a very more positive way so that they may be understood as non-threatening, but to be only helpful. Does this answer your question? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for Is coming. Is there other questions? I believe, uh, David, you had a question? David. Hello? Greetings. Uh, greetings. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you had mentioned something that caught my ear about what I'm going through, I'm working on deciding to go on a long journey, um, but the information that I have gathered, I still haven't been difficult to make a decision. Um, the information was that it wouldn't be that important to go all the way to Portugal just to see the mermaids, only if there was something important in Portugal, but I don't know of anything that is important as per se, so any guidance on me 
We are only looking at your planet as a whole. We do not look at individuals and their precision, precise journeys or missions. Well, the question if this is, is a I'm mission a of yours, then you must use it as such. We are more interested in a worldwide opinion or a worldwide uh, search of what is happening. I am sorry that we do not take individuals into consideration for the most part unless their journey affects the entire world. Well, the and in that case, more, we do. Yes? It's more on the, the process of making decisions on guidance with that, since you said that you don't make decisions for people and need to help to learn how to make better decisions and make commitments to make a choice you must look at the big picture that means what is the, all the outcomes and what the weight of each in every situation there is no completely balanced view meaning that the good outweighs the bad or the bad outweighs the good there is none that is completely even so you must look at all the information, weigh what they mean, and decide by which is the best decision for your personal outcome. Uh, or if you're looking for the outcome of others, then you must look at the best personal outcome for others. You cannot be interested or cannot weigh it in both ways and have a proper answer you must know what it is that is happening all the facts and weigh them for the greater good of all ah very good that is beautiful thank you you are welcome this is how we look at your planet as well we would like the greatest good for all people on your planet. So that is why we keep some transmissions away from you because they are coming from a different perspective that is not in your best interest. Yes. And, and I, I could go to help with the healing, but I think uh, they may be okay if I don't. So thank you. Very well. I am glad we could help you with this decision. Much love. Peace. Much love. Is, yes. Is there other questions? Yes, I would like to have a question. Um, but I don't know if it's the, uh, the right uh, thing to ask, uh, but please uh, address it to the right one. Um, actually, uh, I'm working in, in, in a project that I had with the, regarding the uh, some souls that been trapped in the in a school there from the Spanish Inquisition in a prison, and and so I would like to know the status of this uh, since I've been working on that, and I would like to know if the that crystal under the, the school, uh, which is turquoise crystal, can be activated and how? The school, a skull under the, or a crystal under the school, is that what you said? Yes. Is these, you said the schools were trapped, the souls were trapped from the Spanish Inquisition, which we know about. Is that yes, what you said? Right. Yes, it was a torture prison. Yeah. There is, there are still souls trapped from that period of time and from other great tragedies in your history. The reason for this is because they were pulled out of their bodies so quickly they did not have time to know what was happening. And sometimes in this situation, and only in sometimes, that souls can be trapped and not trust anything that is around them or what they see. And if they stay in that particular place for too long, they, be, they lose their uh, 
actual logic, their awareness, their their grounding. The, they lose all sense of what is happening in this place and therefore must be guided into a greater light. With the activation of this crystal, which is not activated at this time, it could help them. But they may see it as the light and go toward it instead of the true light, which they have seen hundreds of times, perhaps even thousands of times, and not have gone to it because they do not know what it represents. Education for these beings that are trapped is necessary. When you are praying for them to go to the light, you cannot just pray that they go to the light, but pray that they understand what the light is. Pray that they understand the meaning of the light. Pray that they understand the meaning of who they are that is attracted to the light or is being sent to the light. You must educate some of them or most of them because they have lost their way in this ungrounded situation. So how can I do that? Through prayer for one thing. Activating the crystal will help send an energy to them that is greater than what they have and perhaps may help ground some of them. But you must educate them with your prayer and with your others' prayers to let them know what status they are in and how to get out of it. A wish thing could, me, could, could help me to activate the, the crystal. I work with the Arturians, but uh, I had asked, and they say that this is quite a project. It's, they're no, they're no interested in starting this project. Who, who can I uh, address to? There are those that are listening to you now. If there is anyone interested in helping this young lady, please let her know. It is just a matter of prayer and information. Please help her because these souls need to move forward into the light, but they have no idea where they are and what they are doing at this time. They have lost their grounding. The information that is necessary for this particular movement and they must be taught by your prayers and your energy what to do and who they are. That will help you. Someone from these groups will hear you and they will take up with you the prayer problems. Okay, thank you so much. You are welcome. Okay, we have a queue of questions in the side chat. I believe Crystal is next. Hello? Yes. Hello. I, I wanted to make sure there's no distortion this time. Is everything okay? Uh, clear? It's, it's still crackly, so if you could kind of keep it short. Okay. Um, my, my question is always about um, the communication now that you're talking about on Earth. I'm wondering about your communication with the original ones who landed in 2017. Um, there is always communication with these, yes. And how how does their communication work with our world's governments at this time? They try to speak to them as well as possible at this time. Your governments do not always listen well. <coughs> they say they hear, but they do not respond in proper ways. And so the time is coming for change. So do not worry. The ancient ones will get through. Um, right, Eva, I think you're next. Thank you. Um, hi, um, blessings to you. Um, you said that you are overlooking this planet. So I have a general question. There are a lot of um, alien to this planet beings, uh, positive aliens who, who reincarnated here to help. 
do you have any advice to us or do you have any request is there anything you would like to us to know that's my question thank you we know who that you speak of but we are not in charge of that project or program we do support it as much as possible but we are not actively involved in it but we would say to them that we wish them the greatest of success and that we are sending our prayers and energy to them to be successful. All those that have great missions upon the earth that are inborn aliens or creator beings or such the like, or angels, I do not want to let them out. They are great under great sacrifice to be there in this particular time on harsh dimension. We would not want to trade places with them at all. However, we do wish them the best and hope that their missions are all successful. Thank you so much. Do we have any questions in the room at Jim's place? There is a room here, yes. Any questions herein? No. They have said negative, no. Uh, did you have uh, any other thoughts to share? I'm, I'm uh, not sure. I, I, the, the questions have scrolled off the YouTube chat. I don't see any recent ones, so I think we're up to date. Very well, then I shall depart. But it was good to speak with you. We have not spoken in some time. And it was good to connect once again, letting you know that we are here, that we do care, and that our energy is beneficial and positive. Do not think that we are not listening to what is happening on your world, for it is gr of great importance to the entire universe and galaxy what does happen here. A failure on this planet would mean a great disaster for many different species and civilizations. You have no idea of what power you control in the universe. Be aware that you are treading on very thin ice at times with your decisions to be hostile one to another and to start more wars and destruction. Remember, the reasonings behind wars are usually selfish, commercial, money-hungering, and power-oriented. They have nothing to do with deities or spirituality. For spiritualities and deities abhor these kinds of actions. Thank you so much. We will be on our way. I have come to you, but noise is this. I've muted, Crystal. Oh. It's uh, right to remind people to stay muted until they're called to speak. Uh, who are I we am, speaking with? I am Zeus. Welcome. I believe Sheer asked for you. I have come a long way, and our planet is not usually very interactive at this time. 
Hello, Zeus. What is it that you wish to ask? Wow, well, um, you are a very interesting character, and I know that um, some things about your race. Um, did we ever knew each other? Your energy is familiar. I do believe that we did know each other at some time. At this time, I am not able to look at past lives or past energies. I have been put into a body that is not able to do that at this moment. Can you elaborate about the Greek mythology, about the Muses and Hercules and everything that went down? What was it was real? part of your history. It was not just legend or mythology, as you have said, but it has turned into such things because it did not seem real. It did not seem viable. But we were a race of beings that were on your planet, somewhat to protect you and somewhat to fight our own battles against other species that were invading your world. We did have somewhat of a claim on some of the things that were happening there and some of the lands, and we wanted to be part of your civilization in some way, but it it would not work out because you saw us as gods and saw us as different and were prejudiced for us instead of against us. But some of my people were prejudiced against you and not for you. So we had to leave. It was the only proper thing to do. I see. And I want to ask you if your race as an hybridization program? No. Okay, thank you very much for coming. You are welcome. I'm Believe sorry me. if I seem a little abrupt. It is a shock on the system to be here. We are a race that is closer to light and not physicality any longer and so it is a little bit of a stress to be here but it is not your fault and we have chosen to come and so please forgive this bit of in discomfort that we are experiencing oh, of course we just i just want to thank you for being here it's a huge honor to have you we are fine, thank you. Um, thank you for putting up with the um, discomfort of this mode of communication. I believe Leela is the next questioner. Leela, continue. Thank Hi, Theos. Uh, I would like to know, uh, what is your connection with Anunnaki? We are them? not Anunnaki, and we do not have a connection with them that is direct. We know who they are, and we know what they do. They have been part of your civilization for much time. We do not always like what they do. We do not always approve of them. And likewise, they do not always approve of us. But... We do get along. We are not in a war or battle with one another. There is communications occasionally between our, our peoples, but we do not really condone their actions with some of the th things that they've done with your people and with your governments long ago. Right. So there has been a rift in our friendship friendships but it is not that we are war or enemies of any kind we just disagree that's wonderful uh, can you tell us what what alien race species you are 
we have never told you what species we are. And that will remain a secret because it is not for you to know. That's wonderful. Uh, I know that was I was in the time of Zeus uh, around. Can you or uh, can you re uh, remember anything about my energy being involved? I was told that I was around uh, that time. Is that correct? You were. Yes. I can sense your energy as I can sense some of the others' energies here, which seem to be somewhat familiar. But I could not pinpoint who you were yes. or at exactly what time you entered my consciousness as a being, or even if you were part of my civilization at that time due to the situation that I am in at the moment. Are you involved at this point with Gaia uh, uh, healing? Are you involved, you species are involved in helping Gaia to, pros uh, to progress to another level? Not directly. Uh -huh. We do send energy to many places, but sometimes it is inadvertent which means that we send out a great deal of energy as a civilization into the universe. And if it happens to reach your planet, it would be beneficial. And it does. Mm -hmm. Are you still, this is the last question, are you still emotionally involved with Gaia? Because you spend the time here, so do you still reminisce in positive way about your time here, or you rather have a no it is a portion of history that we find endearing to mm -hmm. some points. Yes, it was a, a time of greatness for us in many senses. But yet it was also a time of embarrassment for us as well. Looking back, we see that we acted rather badly or poorly at times. And that is something that we do regret. But we did love your people, and we did feel that they benefited from our arrival and from the things that we did for them. They were much teaching, and your Greek culture benefited greatly by our presence. Thank you, and we love you too, and wish you the best for your future and now. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And I did want to say this, having you brought that up, that we do apologize for any... Um, I do not know the word, but we did not behave completely well when we were on your planet. So we hope that you will forgive us for feeling godlike amongst your peace people and for presenting ourselves that way at times. We really did not intend for that to happen, but as it was, this is how it came to be. And this is the cause for us to feel some embarrassment and some hesitation to speak with you about that time because it was not our finest hour. All right. You know, humans have the same problem, so do not feel embarrassed. Many think they are gods, so you know what? Just, you're wonderful. We have the same uh, problem and syndrome with humans who all the time think they are gods, so. This is the old, ancient problem. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding. Not all would be so forgiving, but God has forgiven us, and we know this. And we have forgiven ourselves over time. And now it is just a matter of apologizing properly. I believe Crystal is next, if you want to unmute now. And thank you. Yes. Um, Crystal, you're not unmuted. Now? There we go. Yep, you're on. Zeus, this is Mary Magdalene. We have known each other for quintillions of years. Um, do you remember me? 
Creator beings are people of memory, yes. Um, we are. We were together as creator beings, and you know, Elika and Yeshua. Yes, some of us have chose to isolate ourselves away from the creator realms at this time. Oh, I didn't know that was possible. Once you're a creator being, you're always a creator being. Creator beings can do whatever they wish. Oh, so you are acting as a creator being in a different form now? In a it, is a, it is a form that we like, and it is a way that we like. We are isolated at this time. We, at some point, will return to the creator realm. But we choose right now a form of monkship, if you will, to become better at what we do. I understand. Um, I would like to tell you something, because this information has never been released to the universe and maybe to other creator beings. God did choose to expose himself as an angry God through some of the creator beings, um, even before only 2,000 years ago, before Jesus and Mary's project on earth was to allow God to see himself differently, and that is when he became Mother God. And We that, know all this information. I, excuse me? We know all this information. We are creator beings. I, I'm wondering if what, what you were saying earlier about um, showing yourselves as the, the angry gods, that that, we, that is over now. Of course. And so now people should realize that that was just a part of God's logic and emotions being shown at that time. When we were treated with such greatness by your humanities, not your humanities, but the humanities, it brought out um, our bad side. And so there we have we are doing some humble meditations about what has happened. And do you, is there a difference now since the, the 2000 year period? Is this the reason why you're going through this change, changing into this mother God logic? You are in an earth persona at this point. So you do not understand fully the creator realm as it is at the moment. When you return to it, you will understand what our position in it. For us to try to explain it to you would be futile. I think I do understand a lot more than you think I do. God has been preparing me to write the book to explain the creator realm to this world. That is my mission on earth. God has been working with me on this for my entire lifetime. I do understand. I speak with Elika and Yeshua and Mary. Well, and you must understand us then, because we have been in isolation. This, this is a part of the creator realm I didn't know about, that you could go in isolation. That is something I didn't know about yet. And this is why All this is things very are possible. All things are possible. And this is what we have chosen to do. Thank you. Thank you for showing me something I didn't know about the Creator Realm. Thank you, you are very welcome. much. You're welcome. Be well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, let's see. Who was next after Crystal? Marlene. Yes, greetings, Zeus. I, greetings. I've been by your side for many eons. I Thank feel you. your energy. Yes. Thank you. I uh, could you can you tell us a little bit about Athena being born from your mental and not going through the earthly process, please. When you are a creator being, 
all things are possible, as I was mentioning, and as she also knows. But as a creator being on a planet such as yours, we can do what we wish, and we were not in human form. And at that time, it was permitted for us to come anywhere we wanted in the universe and take any form we wished in the universe. It is not so anymore like that. There are more rules and regulations because many things have happened and God had to take some initiative and make some rules so that things would stay in proper perspective. But yes, we were able to create children, other beings, things that were great and wonderful. It is not really anything out of the ordinary for us and not out of the ordinary for you as a creator being either. When you return to the creator being realm, many of you are creator beings. When you return to that realm, you will remember all that you were and remember all that you could do. And in this particular human body, you may think you know many, many things, and you do, but being a creator, being in the creator realm is nothing compared to the human thought process or being in the human body. I am sorry, but it just does not compare. Thank you. I, 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 I thank you very much. You've ignited this joy in me of being in contact with you. It seems <laughs> it's been such a long time um, that I've connected. And now to connect with you through this human body, I feel I'm elated at this point. Thank you, Father. Very well. Thank you. It is like going back in time to be here in some ways. How primitive, but how wonderful it is. The physical body, the, um, the emotions, the futilism, the, the very primitivity of it is so alive and vigorously appealing at some point. Go ahead. I am um, sorry, my voice sounds rather egotistical, or, but this is the voice that comes through when I talk. Well, we're just glad to hear you speaking to us. It's a privilege. Um, I'd like to uh, read some of the questions from the YouTube chat. Uh, Krellick asks, when it came to ancient ETs and Earth's past, were there rules in place when it came to interacting with primitive humans, or did groups do their own individual thing? Back then, there were no rules. The Galactic Council was very young, or younger, and was dealing with wars and primitive societies and was not uh, interested in Earth so much because they were not even close to being space-bound or not even close to interacting with uh, the universe in any way. So we were allowed to do what we wished. Aliens were allowed to come here. Aliens were allowed to, to do what they wished at some points until they made the prime directive that's what it's called, and uh, by your people. And after the prime directive, then aliens, a contact with your people had rules and regulations and actually was not as much even permitted. But there was a time, there was a time when the early galactic governments, the early federations could not control the actions of some of the uh, aliens that came from other galaxies or other places. This galaxy was very young and um, in the sense that there was, there was some space traveling species. There was some of those that were involved in 
uh, intergalactic travel and communication, but for the most part, it was just starting then in this galaxy. This was one of the newer of the galaxies. Does that make sense to you? Yes, thank you. Uh, do we have any questions in Jim's room as well? I have one. There is one. Speak. With your children, the is there still a, a lineage of your your children now? No, our lineage, our our children were not human. So therefore, there cannot be a lineage on this planet of our children. When we left, all of our children and all of our heritage went with us in one way or another. And so therefore, we did not interact with humans as far as sexual activity with birth. We were able to act, interact with them sexually, but there was no births that were the outcome of this. We would not allow it. So therefore, our heritage on your planet is what you call mythology and legend and things of great mystery because it did not seem possible for this to be true because of the way your people had evolved by that point in their existence. Thank you. You are welcome. If there are no other questions. Uh, Christine is next, I believe. Christine. Hello, Zeus. Um, greetings. Greetings and blessings. Um, I'd like to know, um, I heard that the Druids, the ancient Druids, their power, the beings, they went through a portal and went elsewhere to another planet. Um, yes, they were not human either. Um, do you know which planet they went to or uh, will they ever come back now that there's a lot of people practicing magic or trying? I believe that the Druids are more nomadic. Um, they do not have a home planet at this time that I know of. They go from place to place, learning the cultures of different worlds in different periods of time. I'm sure that they will return here one day to know about the future Earth once uh, first contact comes, but they are nomadic and they do travel around the universe uh, learning cultures and gaining information. They're, they are the, a kind of librarian that is very interesting, but they have great powers and they are great beings in, in many ways and very respected by many species and cultures because they know of who the Druids are. They are not, of course, called Druids in space. They have many different names as they go to different places. They let the planets name them and call them what they will. And this tells them something about the culture that they learn about those peoples. So when they learned that they were called the Druids by these people, it had a meaning back then. I do not know what it is now, but they learned something about the planet because of how they were named by the peoples. And as they go to different planets and, and come there anonymously and take a space that is not fully occupied and then are discovered by the people of that world, they are given their name, and they learn about the people, they interact with those in that particular area, and then they leave. The Druids that are here on Earth right now, um, are they, are any of them channeling the Druids that were, uh, that are the nomads? Yes. There are those on your planet channeling all different species from everywhere in the galaxy and beyond. The thing is about the, this time and space, in your, in your time and space, I should say, 
is that it is an opening of many of your uh, hidden fourth dimensional gifts which are coming. There are those of you trying to turn into light. There are those of you that are realizing that light is in, in the future. And this is the beginning of it. It is the opening of this light fourth dimension to your planet. The fourth dimensional portholes are open here. And that energy is seeping out and moving through the entire planet and will eventually affect it in a very positive way if you happen to survive beyond this point. <laughs> Thank you for the information. You are welcome. Blessed be. Okay, I believe Crystal was next in line for a question. Hi. Yeah. I, I'm so excited to get to speak to a creator being. Besides, I, I've spoken to Lacademus. Do you know Lacademus? I know of him, yes. So you are, can you tell me if you are close friends with Elika or Lacademus? I know of him. Like I have told you, young lady, or, or I should say Mary Magdalene, I know that you are a creator being as well. But I must tell you that I have been in isolation for a while now. And so all my relationships uh, are only with those that I am in isolation with. And yes, I do know who Elika is, and I respect him great, greatly. But I have not been in contact with him for a thousand years. A thousand years. Oh, that's what I was wondering. So you've been in isolation 1,000 years. At that, least. And your time span. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. I, I, I'm, I'm so glad to get to be with you at this time. And thank you for mentioning that some of us are turning into light now and that the Ascension portals have connected Harmonic Universe 1 and 2. Thank you for allowing me to be with you. We will Very be well. You are welcome. Forever, sometime soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, we I will not always be in isolation. But at this time, I have come out just to speak to you because I was called. And I am grateful for the chance to get away a little bit. It's been a long time. And the third dimension in this way is rather a breath of fresh air in some ways. But I do also feel the harshness of it. Being that I am a creator, being from another realm, from another way, you can feel the harshness of this reality when entering in it. But you also feel all the great emotions, all the great activity, all the great passion of it as well. It is rather exhilarating. Okay, uh, thank you for that. I um, believe that Leela is uh, are going to be our final question. Um, and uh, I'm hoping we'll have time to speak to one more being yet today, if that's possible. Leela, are you available? Yes, I am here. I, uh, my final question, uh, I, I would like to uh, give you a message, a final message for Zeus. Are we still, is yes. he still there? Uh, yes, there's a lot of activity in the room. Right. Uh, so It's hard to concentrate and be here. Yes, I, I would like to tell you that we greatly appreciate you. Whatever happened at those times, it was a great experience for you and for us. I did worship you very shortly and I saw true. So your existence in those times were very important for anybody. So do not feel anything negative or less. We highly appreciate you. And the story is magnificent. The story, the mythology, the true story of Greeks, I love it. It's a lot of fights, a lot of adventure, according to my taste. So you are very, very ins great inspiration to us all. And if, if anything was neg negative, then anybody can learn from. 
So you are great experience for all of us and we love you because without you, we will have a less experience. So you know. I see your accolades are accepted, but I, I do not feel any pride or any exhilaration from them because this earth third dimension does not uh, give me what I need for that kind of activity. But thank you very much for the kindness that I believe you were trying to pour upon me. It is that I should pour upon you my kindness and my energies rather than you pour yours on me. For you are the ones that are going through this particular density that is so harsh and so timeless in the sense that it is, it seems never to let up. It is always this incredible dense energy. So I am the one who am saying to you, thank you for this sacrifice for being here. I have a last question because I start, I am active healer and I, if you would like to get a love healing from me, if you would uh, wish, I would like to send it to you, if you would like it. Very well, I will accept it. Okay, that's what I, may God bless you, my dear, I love you. Thank you. It is time for me to go, is it? Well, we do have a couple more questions coming in if you're not tiring of this form of communication. Actually, I'm finding your realm rather exhilarating at the moment. All right, but I'd like to take one from Wendy. Wendy. She asks, is the introduction once again of white magic part of the process of bringing back the white light energy? introduction of white magic on your planet as i understand as i have been here and soaked in the very little bit of it that's here is an introduction to the new energies that are coming to your world and that are necessary and were re released by fourth dimensional portals this is something of your future that you are able to utilize and make work for you if you manage to survive this this period of time. Yes, it is a, a reintroduction of something that you have not seen for a great deal of time and of white energy, of course. You can call it that. It can be named many different things. But this white magic that is returning is, you call it white magic, it, it can be of any color. Um, you can change it to dark magic or light magic. Hopefully you will use it in a very positive way. It is a reintroduction of something very ancient. Okay, and David, did you uh, want to unmute and ask your question? Hello, Zeus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, very good to speak with you. I, uh, Thank you. Thank you. I have been um, sending healing to the mermaids. They aren't feeling well because of the water. And I they talked to them the and animals. they mentioned and they mentioned that they, mentioned, uh, they, they Oh, did you say something? Go. Go. Um, they mentioned that they I asked why they were here and they mentioned they were here to help. They were helping you and Atlantis at times. Um, did you have any communication with them? Do you know anything about the mermaids? Of course, the mermaids were our social group. We spoke to them all. Beautiful. Yes, very, very, very powerful group of mermaids were with us at that time. And the people knew about them as well. But they looked at them more as fish and did not pay attention to them because they could not be sexual with them. So they sort of ignored them. 
your people back then were very carnal. David, if you wanted to follow up, I had to mute you because of the feedback. Uh, your volume was too high. If you uh, want to finish, you'll have to unmute. Yeah, I was wondering if um, how how they helped you, and um, if uh, you think it's a good idea for me to go visit them. Your ideas upon that. That is your decision. They are leaving your planet. I have just communicated with them. They are not staying here. They are not well. And so they will be leaving very shortly. All right. We had... We had there we go. Uh, we had another question from the YouTube chat from Carol. She'd like to know if you could talk about scepters. What about them? Uh, she wants to know if you create them and if you have something to do with the scepter that she has. We do. We did have scepters. There were a technology that we used for uh, doing several different things. And uh, we could forge them. We did forge metal on your planet and put the technology in them necessary to have them do very many powerful things. Does your scepter have technology within it? Is it been forged by magic? Or was it forged just for a souvenir? Oh. There's no uh, response. There's a bit of a delay. Uh, she's uh, going to hear your answer uh, in a few seconds uh, oh, from now. I see. I'm sorry. I thought she was with us. Never mind. The answer to that is yes, we do forge scepters. We can add magic to any scepter that is in existence. We can add technology to any scepter that's in existence. But I do not know which scepter you have, so that I that I I cannot know uh, which one it is unless you bring it into your vision or you have it in your hand, so that I may perceive it. Is there any response from her yet? Uh, she says. It forged my soul. It was forged for my soul mission. Then it does have magic in it, and it does have purpose. You must understand that I have not forged every scepter in the universe. There are many of the, many that forge scepters, and many that have great uh, talent in doing so. Many creator beings throughout the universe. Some of the most powerful relics in the universe are scepters. And some of those that we have created are very powerful as well. This one is made for a personal mission, for personal use, and will be a great attribute to you. And will do what you need it to do at those periods of time when you call upon it and it has the power to accessorize you and your energy in some way thank you for that um i think we're catching up on the questions um is there someone waiting in the wings to join us i do not know one moment please I will leave and let you know. Thank you for honoring us with your presence. It was a very visceral pleasure.
Greetings. I am Angel Jamil. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Not all have heard of me, but I wanted to come to say something to you. This era of time in your dense planet, your dense, harsh planet, is a time of great enlightenment. This time for giving of yourself and for not taking credit for everything. It is for giving energy to others. It is for pushing out energy so that others may survive this harsh environment. It is pushing out the energy and light and being an example of light and love so that others may survive. We see that in the near future, many will not survive because many have not given of themselves. Many are very selfish and many have taken for themselves what they want taken for themselves many things. And with these things, they could have helped many others. With their wealth, they could have fed the poor. With their things, they could have made a greater life for those that have no life. They could have taken those away from destitution, sorrow, and pain, and tried to help in some way, but it's too much trouble. And it could be dangerous. Or you could be in somebody's eyes being foolish. Look not at what other people say, but look at your own actions in your own hearts, your own love and your own well-being, and push out love for those. There are many of you doing great works for the world. There are many of you with great things to say. But there are actions that go along with these words. You cannot just say that you love the world and not take any action to help them. You cannot just pray for the world and say that that is enough. Not in this day and age. The world needs your hands, your feet, your brains, your energy to survive. <clears throat> this world will not survive if people do not realize and open their arms to many. For if you do not open your arms to many, then many will not survive. Many will fall away. You may say, how do I do this? Do you know someone in need? Everyone knows someone in need. Everyone knows someone in need. What are you going to do about it? Reach out. Do you know that even a hug, even an embrace, a smile, is an action greater than nothing? Because a smile can change the day. An embrace can give encouragement and exchange some positive energy. Love, my friends, love in an active way. 
not just sitting at home, but send things out to the world. Many of you are a self-contained unit, just your family and your friends. That is all that is involved in your giving and your giving thanks. But it is time that you have a worldwide view. You must send the prayers everywhere and act accordingly. There are some in this room that have traveled around the world to activate places, to do things, to bring positivity to places that have none. I congratulate you that you are an active group. And that is what I really came to say. There will be many others that will listen to this and their hearts will be sliced in two because they know that they have the means to help and they have not done so. And so their heart will be pricked. Their spirit will be challenged. If I am challenging your spirit, then so be it. It is the time for this on this Mother Earth. She is suffering, but still filled with joy that she can serve her people. that she can be home to so many great and wonderful souls and so much beauty and so much love. Oh yes, she is hurting. There is radiation, there are bombs, there is chemicals, there is pollution. But yet she is still smiles for you. She still gives all of herself to you. Is that not the greatest gift? To be joyfully giving of yourself. And I wish you much love. And I am not here to put a damper on your day in any way but I am here to encourage, here to say you have what it takes, here to say, I love you. And as I say, I love you, you play it forward to mankind. For I am speaking to you as mankind. And you will pass it forward to the rest of the world. It is the way it should be. And as God has intended it to be. Healing is something else you can do. Healing is a great action. Loving is a great action. Prayer is a great action that causes other actions. That causes miracles to happen. Giving of your finances. Giving of your food, giving of your service. Giving part of yourself, part of your love to someone that may not have any, anything, anybody, anywhere. 
Much love to you, my good people of Earth. Much love to you. May my heart goes out to all of you in this dark realm at this time. But you are the light in this darkness. And you are all I can see. Shine on. Hello. Welcome back, Jim. Hello. How are you? I think we're well. The, uh, that last angel was very inspiring. We're doing great. Good. Excellent. Um, it's time for closing blessings and announcements. <laughs> uh, I see Will coming up. Why don't we start with Will? Will. Here it is. Hey, Here Will. It hey, they saw you moving before you even got out of your chair. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Go ahead. So, white Magic Class tomorrow, Sunday, uh, April 29th at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Check out World Time Buddy to find out when it's happening in your neck of the woods. Um, we would love to have you. There's a couple of spots left. $111, email reikiwithwill at gmail.com. This is just going to be so interesting. Um, this is going to be something different than you've ever experienced in your entire life because it's something new to the earth at this time. And it's something very, very helpful and positive to the people of earth. It's an action you can take that is beyond what you could think that you could take. So be with us, be a part of that. I'm going to be there, I'm going to be interpreting it, at, at least part of it. Mm -hmm. I believe you're gonna interpret some of it too. And uh -huh. Wendy will be interpreting some of it. We're, it's a group effort and God is in control. So we are going to let the information pour forth. It is going to be amazing. I'd love to see you all there. So um, I know that there are several people in this room going to be there. Angie, Sir, Serena, uh, Sharam. I'm not sure who else. Barbara, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe Barbara will be here. I'll I'm be not there. sure. No. Ray's not going to be here. Okay. But um, yes, lots of love to everybody. And that's going to be a fabulous class. I just know it. I have no idea what's going to be said, but I know that it's going to be in, in, incredible. Uh, who Who is going to be the teacher of the magic? Uh, three of us. That will be Will, me, and Wendy. Uh -huh. So you are magicians? Not yet, but we're mm -hmm. this is going to be in more of an introduction to it oh. and how to how it is coming about. It's going to explain so that you will be ahead of the curve when the, the br brunt of the magic uh, arrives. How about a sample? Is there starting to talk now? You want to in interpret just a tad here? Um, well, go ahead. Okay. I, 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 yeah. Let's see. Hakana atita chana atita anaki ta an oha a tai tish an aiki an tu a tisha ant ki a an iti tisha no ukutu hutia. Ah, we are here to train. We are here to show you how to gather and store the magic. How it begins in this realm that has not had magic for such a long time. And you will be reintroduced and your eyes will be opened to the new thoughts and the new ways. And who are you? I will tell you if you come to the class. Ah! Great. That's the magic. <laughs> Are you also going to teach magic class um, in the workshop in August? I don't know if that's um, going to happen or not. I'll have to talk to Will about that. I have no idea. We haven't really, we're still formulating what is going to be taught at the uh, workshop because a new, uh, 
uh, Galactic Reiki is, we already did Galactic Reiki a couple times at the workshop. So this is going to be a new version of Galactic Reiki, going to be something else. And perhaps the white magic class would be fit right into that because it's energy manipulation. And magic is very similar to, is exactly energy manipulation. So uh, perhaps they will go hand in hand. That would be magnificent. <laughs> Thank oh, you. very good. Well, we still are discussing it, and I have to discuss it with Max, of course, because he is one of our leaders as well. So, well, it, it is yeah. a great idea. It only depends who is the teacher and who is the source. Well, for the energy manipulation, Takur will teach that. She's going to be giving me that information. Okay, that's tr trustworthy. That's great. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, and for the magic class, whoever comes when we 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 channel and whatever information is brought will be recorded and given to those that were in the class. And this will be uh, probably good for uh, being able to teach the next class even better. So, but I, I don't think that this class is gonna be a slouch at all. I think it's gonna be quite good. <laughs> it's gonna be Final amazing. Blessings. Huh? Blessing time? Yes, it is blessing time. Who wants to give a blessing? Oh, and I forgot to mention all the books that are out there. We're yes. Yes. a book. No, no force. Remember the book. <laughs> From the we galaxy book out, the so I know uh, many of you have it already. Thank you. I appreciate that. We. I was surprised to see how many sold. Really, it was really quite nice. And what's the title of the book? Um, I to forget. No, From the Galaxy with Love. From the Galaxy with Love. Where can they get the book? They can get it on Amazon or Kindle. <laughs> or I figure I'd help you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Amazon or Kindle has the book, and it, it will be coming out in audiobook sometime in the near future. And so if you have trouble, I, I, that's the one I want it really to get because the reader is really good. I've already listened to a few of his chapters. He's actually very good. He has to correct how he says the word to cur, and then after that, we're golden. <laughs> he kept saying Tucker, 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 but it's not. She's going. It's the cur. So, just, <laughs> so anyway, that has to be changed. All right, come and give a blessing. Anybody out there as well? You guys out there haven't been given blessings lately. What's up with that? Yeah. Yeah, Tasha. Okay. It's all my room people. I guess the energy in here is really crazy. <laughs> all right. Barbara? The return of great love to your planet is on its way. The uplifting of hearts and souls will be necessary and is on its way as well so therefore take heart do not lose faith if you are being attacked call on us and we will help much love to you and many blessings anybody else Shahra. Shahra? <laughs> no, yes no, no, no. yes go yeah. for it oh, you. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> maybe next time okay i will do it will will do it so who shishaha kirana ata tatita to order to wara? Nita ya chacheka oto tona na tisi. Shishaya ka oto na na hu shishakua. Hu shishaya ka anana ni sakawa tatita. Nati tichiko uyoaka. Nita to kona na ara tatur shishaka. Yaya kanana ara yata harasuko u shishakona. Working together. With peace and harmony is the success to all things. Bringing the mind together, bringing the minds together for 
a single thought and a single journey brings a greater understanding and a greater success. Be like-minded one to another about caring, love, understanding, and support each other in your missions. But remember, work together and you will find that the energy works for you. All righty then. All right. And with that, I wish to thank everybody for watching us uh, either live or on YouTube. Uh, thank you for watching Hukalo TV. And uh, if you need more information, our website, hukalo.org, has a link to the book, the workshops, and, and many of the events. All right. Very good. Have a great day, everybody. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. Beautiful bye, Jim. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you all. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> more and more.